this year we're working cows, calves, and yearlings all at the same time. We have two shoots, two vets, and that will lower the stress on the animals and lower the contact with the humans, cut it in half. And when you lower the stress on an animal, hopefully their immune system keeps up so that'll lead to healthier animals because everybody knows when you get high stress, that's when your immune system weakens and that's when you're susceptible to sickness. We totally changed how we separate animals. We set up a calf shoot, which worked wonderfully today. So we can run calves at the same time we're working cows instead of having to work calves more than once. So that cuts out a, a lot of stress for young calves. If you keep calm and you're happy, the animals are calm and happy. There comes a balance where you know, you try to push to get them through because you have them confined for less period of time. And so you have a, sh a shorter stress period and then balancing it out with taking them slower and trying to move it through. But it's this size of operation, it gets to be a fine balance. Working buffalo is always an adventure. Uh, they don't always want to come in when you want them to. Uh, they like to bounce around in the chute, so you got to be extra careful. It's important that we all communicate together. We work together for a long time. Oftentimes we don't have to talk. We can glance at each other and know what each other's thinking. Safety is at the forefront. It's a lot of just being relaxed. And if you're relaxed, the bison are going to work through much easier. They're very cognizant of the people of the help. People by the end of the day get fatigued and sometimes mistakes get made. And, and that's when, when things tend to happen. So, you know, it's trying to schedule a certain amount of working and, and having an adequate crew, but not too many. Every year it's an amazing experience working with the 777 Bison crew. They do an incredible job with low stress and efficiency. It's great to work with the team. Spirits are high. We're moving animals swiftly and, and cleanly through the chute, and it's been really great. The biggest goal is to get them through the whole process as humanely and calmly as possible with the least amount of human contact and and do it safely for the animals and the humans. So that's the changes we've been making to the whole setup.